Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be doing 12 days of videos from me leading up to Christmas. Happy holidays, happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, whatever you celebrate. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'm so excited I came up with this idea this morning. <laughs> So clearly very well thought out, but I want to put out a uh, video content every single day leading up to Christmas time I know that right now I'm loving everybody doing vlogmas and all the videos that are coming out I feel like there's so much good stuff to be watching and I wanted to throw you know my hat in the ring and show you guys a lot of fun stuff coming up It won't just be makeup. Um, this particular look was inspired by Mariah Carey. She put out a Christmas special on um, Apple music plus Apple plus I don't know what the heck it's called, but I um, think Thankfully, I was able to view it and it was magical and it was incredible and Ariana and Mariah harmonized whistle tones. It was the greatest moment of my life. So if you guys wanna see how I achieved this makeup look, it was a little rocky, but we got there. Then please just keep on watching. So does anybody else have like a serious undying love for Mariah Carey? <laughs> when I was, I think I was five, my dad gave me for Christmas this like Sony tape player that also was a radio. So I used to make like all the mixtapes off the radio, but now I had a way to play music and that totally changed my life. I mean, he gave me a, a Melissa Etheridge tape, which I listened to, but I went through my mom's collection and I found Mariah Carey, her first album, the self-titled Mariah Carey. And I listened to that so many times. Like I literally held fake concerts. I would make my brother answer, like pick up one phone, I pick up the other and I would like pretend to sell him a ticket. Um, I made fake tickets. Um, I was really, <laughs> really in love with her and I still am. And this Christmas special is everything. I mean, obviously she's the queen of Christmas because of that one song that honestly I could never hear again, but I will love her forevermore. I don't care how many times I have to hear it. When it got announced that Ariana Grande was gonna be on it, I almost passed out. <laughs> like my little pop loving heart, like was ablaze. I'm gonna adjust this a little bit. That's better. So anyway, yeah, I pretty much lost my effing mind when it was announced that Ariana would be on it as well because she is my no number one forever and always. But when Mariah put out that second Christmas album too, <sighs> there are so many good songs on that. I don't know if you guys have listened to it, but highly recommend if you haven't. Uh, it definitely does it for me. I guess Mariah is like a little, she's a little divisive, but I love her. I know that she's a diva, but like, if I could sing like her, I would be too. So yeah, I saw this makeup look on her Christmas special that I watched obviously the day it came out. <laughs> and um, I thought it was so pretty. It's different, but it's super festive. It's like the silver and purple, well you guys already saw it, but um, I was thinking like, what in my collection has both of those shades? And it's the Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette, which when's the last time I even used this? And it's a beautiful palette, I really like it. So yeah, just applying the base, making sure it's really, and now we're gonna powder. I'm not gonna be shy about it. Mariah has a very flawless base, so that's what we're gonna do too. And I know it's so extra, but I'm gonna use my Bare Minerals powder again underneath my eyes. I know it's like so much, like no one's gonna do this every day, but I really like it. I feel like it does help my under eyes. I need as much help as I can get under there. I look exhausted all the time. And I know a lot of us have had sleeping problems pretty much like throughout this whole year because it's been a pretty wacky year. But yeah, I don't know. I just like haven't been sleeping well. So whatever I can do to help out my little under eyes. Mariah is certainly sculpted. So I'm gonna take my Tardis Pro Glow Palette and I'm going to use the powder in this to sculpt. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna go just underneath your cheekbone and you don't want to, um, you don't want to blend down, you wanna keep it up. So what I like to do is sort of start at the back and flick my way down and blend up. But sort of going back and forth. Sometimes you can suck into it to kind of like figure out where it needs to be. I don't wanna to go too low because I don't want it to look like a beard or it's like muddy. Who actually taught me how to do this, Jacqueline Hill. She is the queen of teaching, truly. And sometimes I like to take it like along the forehead and on the outer part of the um, my head. Um, I feel like it just helps to kind of like bring a warmth but also give shape to the face. When I go up to the forehead though, I only use what's left on the brush. I don't go in with a ton of product there. You guys know me, I'm always blending after most steps. So before we highlight, I'm gonna use a little bit of 
blush. I'm going to use this one by Tarte. It's Tarte Heavy Day, apparently. Um, this is in the shade Party. I really like Exposed. Oh, it's one of my favorites. I haven't used that in so long. But this kind of reminds me of it. It's a little bit more muted, but it has a little bit of color to it. We don't want anything too over the top because we're going to have the purple on the eyes. To finish off the cheek, I'm gonna go in with a highlighter from this palette as well. I think I'm just gonna mix these two. This one has a little bit of shimmer in it, like chunky particles that I'm not a huge fan of, but it's a little bit lighter, and I need that because the middle shade stunner is a little too dark for me. This is, I think, like more of an icy highlight, which is perfect for this look. And I'm using this brush because this powder is pretty soft and I feel like it'll give the nicest application and it's not gonna dig too much into the product itself and like kind of destroy it. I'm doing a little bit on the cheek like this as well. It just looks dark. This is a disaster. All right, so here's some real talk. I just tried to use the um, Urban Decay Smoky Palette and it did not go well. I don't know if this palette's gone off or what the deal is, but the colors didn't come out the same way that they used to and it just looked bad like the purple didn't even look purple it was it was not good so i just went through my collection and i pulled a bunch of purple shadows or like a palette that had everything in it and i hate to use something you can't really get anymore but the urban decay electric palette has sort of everything that i'm looking for so i'm considering using it um and i may have to substitute um with some other colors but i think i might just have to use that or i have the persona identity palette but that doesn't really have like that glittery purple i also have i have a lot of palettes i have the urban or excuse me the jaclyn hill palette the morphe one and that has a purple it doesn't have a silver but i'm thinking about using that one um and then the heaps of sweets but i feel like i just used that one so here's the plan. I'm gonna start with the Jaclyn Hill palette and amp it up with the electric palette if I have to. So all is not lost. Sometimes you have to wipe it off and you have to start again because what you have in your head does not work out and that's totally fine. So I'm gonna take a couple of these shades, you know, for the crease. I think this is a beautiful palette. I don't know why people have beef with it, but I use it all the time. I think it's really stunning. Now I'm gonna go in with Maybe one of these lighter shades. Maybe I'll take both of these and I'll mix in some of that one. I don't know. Making a little eyeshadow cocktail here. I don't love these um, shimmers on a brush, so I might have to go in with my finger. Yeah, I'm gonna go in to this one with my finger. Oh, it's so much better. It's definitely on the pinkier side, but I think I'll just take this. This will lighten it up. Make it a little bit wider. Oh. Gorgeous. I should have just started with this palette to begin with. Don't worry. I blend. Mariah's was definitely more silver, but it's all good. Do what you gotta do. Use your collection. I don't have any like really intense silvers. Um, I have a topper that I can use and we'll see where, where that goes. But anyways, let's now take another brush, a flat shader. I'm just gonna get rid of the gold that's on there on my wrist. I need to clean my brushes apparently. And I'm gonna go in with the purple. Oh, you can't see it, it's purple. Hopefully it remains purple on my eye. Cause I think last time I used this, it was a little blue. So let's see what happens. Oh, it's pretty good. I may go over top with the Urban Decay Electric purple though, just to really set it off. So right now we're kind of just packing the color on and then we'll go in with our blending brush and give it a good blend. This is a beautiful color though, huh? Maybe I don't need to go over it. I think it just needs to get built up a little. I feel the fallout trickling onto my cheek. <laughs> ah! All right, well, we'll blend first and then we'll deal with that. Looks like we're losing some of that purple with the blend, so no worries, we'll go back in. I think again, I need to use my finger. I think these sparkly guys, they just really need a finger. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's so pretty. I noticed in my editing that a lot of the time when I like something and I'm like working, I whisper. <laughs> so I'm sorry. <laughs> if you have a hard time sometimes understanding me or hearing me or think I'm a total freak, I get it. I'm gonna take some of my setting powder just onto a brush. Just blend around the eyeshadow. And I gotta get rid of this fall, it's killing me. We powdered, so again, it's easy just to wipe it away. Just for kicks, I'm gonna take a little bit of this color Urban from the Naked palette, 
or excuse me, the um, electric palette. And I don't know if this is going to do anything. Yeah, not really. So don't even need to necessarily do this step. This has turned into like such a freaking process. Holy smokes. Usually isn't this bad. I would love to know what Mariah's makeup artist used. Probably something very expensive, which makes sense. She deserves it. For the inner corner, we're gonna go in with this lightest shade here and really pack that in the corner. Take it a little bit under the eye. Just keep that brightness. And then I'm gonna take a short shader brush and we'll grab a little bit of that purple and a little bit of that like pinky color. Just go underneath the eye. Just in that outer half. Oh goodness gracious, I'm gonna have to Clean up a little bit under the eye here. My under eyes got kind of destroyed by all that fallout, so I'm gonna take my Bare Minerals powder again on the cap here, and I'm gonna take a brush, swirl it. There's another thing, swirl, tap, and buff. Bring the brightness back and hopefully get rid of any of that purple. Sorry this makeup look was such a pain in the ass. <laughs> what a way to start all these days of Christmas holiday videos. Don't you wanna just keep watching? Um, I'm gonna take a little bit more highlighter, because why not? And now I feel like when I powdered a lot of it kind of came off, so I'm gonna make sure we're nice and glossy because it's the holidays, who cares? We're gonna set this now. I just realized I didn't grab my eyebrow pencil. My tripod is on top of where I need to retrieve it. Do we just use pomade? I think we just use pomade today. If you need to do your brows, do your brows, but I, this is part laziness, but also part like, I'm lucky to have eyebrow hair. So we're just gonna roll with it. This is intentional. Just watching the time on my recording tick up and up and up and up and up. And, oh. All right, mascara. Joe up, Lash Up Rising, two coats. Oh my God, I swear mascara makes everything just look way better. <laughs> All right, so have to wait for the mascara to dry. Got a couple little dibbly doos on my eyes, so I'll have to get rid of that soon. Okay, so thank God we're almost done. <laughs> um, I hope that I can edit this and put it together in some way that makes sense for you all uh, in your viewing. We're gonna keep the lips super simple because I'm pretty sure she just had a glossy lip at this point. I'm like, let's just let's just get this done. I'm gonna use um, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. This has the benefit of like having some color in it, but also just being a really pretty gloss. All right, and with that, that is going to complete this look. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope that you look forward to the next, I don't know, 11 days of uh, videos from me. If you do like it, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you have any requests for things, leave it down below. I have an idea of what I'm gonna be doing, but happy to move that around. As always, check out my Instagram, listen to my podcast. I'll leave that all down below, as well as all the products I used, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.